What's up guys, Nathan Sutton back with another video and today we are going to be talking about how you don't really know who we are. Ooh, <laughs> sounds juicy already. Yeah, it kind of hit us recently that... Well, more so you. You were talking to me about this. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to Sutton about it, how I feel like with our YouTube channel, we've always put out content that we felt like youtube would like or like you would like maybe along that it needed to be along the same kind of topic like it needed to be about relationships or it needed to be about parenting and somewhere along the way i feel like we just catered to that so much that we don't really share the ins and outs of our lives with you like maybe we should yeah it's a tricky thing because we started this channel no intention for this to be about us like that's not the goal it still is not the goal but personally when i watch someone on youtube i like to know about them and then i also like to listen to their messages and i feel like i can have a little more faith in their messages if i know like who they are as a person yeah and that's that's what i was kind of battling with as well is it's like okay do we really want our following to like is that the goal to get them to know about us or is it more so just to like try to stick to a topic and hopefully share something that is moves uh you know moves you or it helps you grow closer to god or whatever it may be but like Sutton said, I feel like by getting to know us, it might really be a way for you to see how we deal with things. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like flipping the script where in the past it's always been about, let's put out content that we think will do good on YouTube versus let's put out content as if our goal is to let our following really know who we are and what we're going through. Yeah, I feel like when he was talking to me about this, I was like, really? You don't think they know us? Because I kind of felt like y'all do. It's just such a tricky thing. It's like, how much do you want to share and how much are you comfortable sharing? And I kind of feel like, for me, I do feel like y'all might know me a little bit better than you know him. And I feel pretty good about the amount of stuff I share, but I really, when like I watch our videos, I'm like, y'all don't know him that well. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, what is it about me that you don't know? Like... There's just a lot of, there's lots about me that I don't really share on YouTube, you know, because I don't feel like it really falls in line with a lot of what our content should be, you know, like, uh, for example, I'm very, very passionate about eating and like what I eat. I love eating healthy. I have some crazy ideas about healthy eating that is very like counterculture and probably things that you haven't heard before. This is a very radical guy. Um, he is like all in or he's all out it's, yeah so i'm i'm very radical in a lot of different areas whether it be like with health and fitness work, working out is a huge part of my life that i don't really share on youtube and staying fit and how i even think that relates to our faith and our spirituality like being healthy and um and also in like business and how i spend my time and how i spend just there's so many parts that i just don't really share on youtube because i feel like you know it's not going to fall in the category that we are in. So I guess the whole point of this video is to kind of get a feeler on you guys. Like you're our audience. So do you, you know, and also I'm curious like other uh, people that you watch on YouTube, if you do watch anyone else, do you, do you kind of feel like you know them and that kind of draws you in? Or is it like I'm just looking to get some information out of the video? And we're good, like, I feel like we're good with whatever the answer is. It's not like if you say, no, we don't really care, like, who you guys are, it's going to hurt our feelings. Because like I said from the beginning, that was never the intent with this channel. Like, we don't, we don't even really care that much to share who we are, I feel mm -hmm. like. But it's just that tie of, like, when you do see more people's lives, it helps you understand them more. It lets you in a little more. You know, we could share struggles and victories and all kinds of things. But we've had a lot of people telling us, like he was saying, you have to you have to pick a category. Like you have to be about something very specific if you want to grow your audience and stuff. But I just feel like we're so passionate about so many things. Like, you know, we're passionate about Jesus and about family and marriage and relationships and friendships and money and how to be smart with your money and like all these things that we would like love to talk about that we don't want to put ourselves in this little box, like growing our audience or not. I feel like we have fun and we enjoy this when we can talk about whatever's on our hearts, whatever we want to share. 
Mm -hmm. And so I think this also is a kind of a two way street too, like us getting to know you a little bit better, you know, like, that's why I'm just curious, like you watching this video, I mean, are you interested in uh, just like getting golden nuggets out of a specific video topic that relates to relationships or, you know, your faith or like, is it, are you kind of invested in having this weird relationship, even though we don't see each other, but you kind of know us, we kind of know you. I just, I'm genuinely curious about YouTube and our viewers and where we, I mean, we're not just doing this for ourselves, we're doing it for you guys. Is there anything about you you want to share and just give them a little blip of like what you could be telling them about? <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like a lot about me is kind of like on a day-to-day -day basis on like certain things that I'm going through. And I think that would help me be more involved on YouTube too, maybe even through shorts. Like I could see videos being more like topic specific and shorts kind of just like really kind of getting you to know us and like things that I'm going through on a daily basis. But you know, there's there's uh, a lot of things that I'm super passionate about. One thing I'm super passionate about is uh, diet and raising our kids eating a very particular way and the challenges that comes with. You know, we have three little boys and we feed them very different than just about everybody feeds their kids. And and I and not only I mean, obviously, I think we should be treating our bodies like a temple and taking care of our bodies, but like, how does that relate? To the bigger picture like how does that relate to our faith for example we feed our boys more more similarly than anything i would say a carnivore diet which sounds crazy i i used to be a vegan actually and a fruitarian <laughs> yeah so i've kind of i that's that's the thing about me is i really test extremes like i go from one extreme to the next and i think in between those extremes is how i kind of find a lot of truth in my life we feed our boys a very clean diet primarily of animal-based foods and i've done like a lot of research in this area and just it's amazing like it's so crazy to see how uh, different cultures like kids that are raised on animal-based diets how it affects their bone structure their teeth how they don't have cavities how they uh, these these different societies don't have all of the health ailments that we do today and there's just so many um, and like that makes them feel better for example and makes them act better which might make them grow in a way that is more designed by our creator. Did God design us to eat certain foods? And if he did design us to eat certain foods, is that part of his plan? And like, maybe we're supposed to feel better and more energized and more loving. And it's just crazy. Like, like that's just one topic, how I feel like how food can affect you on such a deep level that it ultimately leads back to our faith. So I feel the passion just spewing at you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> he loves this stuff that like food just doesn't really fall in line with our channel but that's just one thing that i just don't really share because i don't think it fits into the category of our youtube channel category schmattigory <laughs> <laughs> well anyway guys let us know what you think about that we'll go from there that was nathan sutton sowing seeds of truth love and inspiration one view at a time and that was how you really don't know who we are who he is <laughs> at the same time one marshmallow. One marshmallow. No, oh, we no. already messed oh, it yeah. up. All right. One marshmallow. What's the next check word? It out. Oh, check it out. Okay. <laughs> One more. We'll slow it a little bit. We're going way too fast. I know. That's part of the problem. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One marshmallow. Check it out. Woo! One marshmallow. Gosh. One marshmallow. Check it out. <laughs> Two marshmallows. Two marshmallows. Check it out. Choo. <laughs> One marshmallow. Check it out. Woo. Two marshmallows. Two marshmallows. Check it out. Check it out. Woo. Three marshmallows. Three marshmallows. Three marshmallows. Three marshmallows. Four marshmallows. Check it out. Do you guys check, say it out. Check, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs>